stuff that we've been doing. And uh, we have one more thing that's one of my favorite things. Today we are going to dedicate Abigail Swenson. And so if Matt and Melissa would uh, bring her forward, um, we will do that as they're coming. Let me explain. So some of you may not know um, what this is all about. Um, some churches, um, including the Wesleyan Church, uh, will, will baptize infants. And uh, there are lots of reasons for it. Um, many times we see historically, even in Scripture, that whole families had been baptized. And, uh, and so oftentimes we see that there are infants who are baptized. And so the Wesleyan Church will do an infant baptism if, uh, if you really press us to do it. Um, and some pastors are actually more easily persuadable than others. Um, but we prefer to do what we call dedication of of infants, which actually is almost more of a dedication of the parents, um, where the parents are standing in front of the community, and actually this is a practice of, of something that we've talked about today, that, that marriage and raising family is not just something that's between Matt and Melissa, but it's among an entire community, and it's an acknowledgement of saying that they want to fulfill their responsibilities to Abigail and to raise her to know and to love Jesus and to ask for the help and support of the church and family um, in order to do that. And so that's what this ceremony is about, that they want to dedicate Abigail to God. And so I'm going to start just by um, asking you some questions, talking about what, uh, what uh, infant dedication is about, and then I will go ahead and dedicate. Dear friends, you have brought Abigail, whom God has given you to be dedicated to God and to his service. By this act, you testify to your faith in Christ and also in your desire that she shall receive the benefits of consecration to God and of the prayers of the church and may early learn to know and follow the will of God and therefore may live a Christian life. In order for this to happen, it will be your duty as parents to teach her early the fear of the Lord, to watch over her education that she may not be led astray by false teachings or doctrines, to direct her mind to the Holy Scriptures as expressing the will and authority of God for all people, and to direct her feet to the sanctuary, to restrain her from evil associates and habits, and as much as you are able to bring her up in the Lord's discipline and instruction. Will you endeavor to do so by the help of the Lord? Do you want me to repeat that, Matt? <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can send you the yeah. copy. Yeah. <laughs> People were bringing children to Jesus to have, them touch, have him touch them, but the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he was indignant, and he said to them, Let the little children come to me and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. I tell you the truth, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. And he took the children in his arms, and he put his hands on them and blessed them. That's from Mark chapter 10, verses 13 through 16. All right. You said she's all well rested up? Yeah, hmm. during your sermon. Yeah. <laughs> well, she was probably the only one. All right. Abigail Swenson, I dedicate you to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, we just want to take the time to thank you for Abigail and uh, thank you for the, the Swensons, for Wyatt and for Matt and Melissa, and uh, for their love for you, their commitment to the church, and their desire to, to raise Abigail to know and to love you. And so today we stand together in prayer to, uh, to ask that you would help them in that endeavor, that you would give them wisdom, that you would give them courage to be able to instruct her, to be able to discipline her. Um, and to be able to show her the love and the support that she needs. I pray that you would watch over their family. Um, I pray that you would just supernaturally help them to fulfill the purpose that you have called them to. And I pray for us as a church as well that we would support them in the way that we are called to, um, that you would give us wisdom and that you would give us grace to know how best we can step in or step back or um, to support them and help them um, in the best way that we can. We just thank you for this opportunity today. Thank you for this new life um, that you have, have given to the Swensons and given to us. And uh, just pray your blessing upon her today. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. There you go, guys. Thank you. Great. 